Um, I'm from Canada, from Ontario, unfortunately. <laughs> Are there any Canadians here? Okay. Well, there's no reason to cheer. There's a completely different experience in the presence of God in the corporate setting than there is at home. It's completely different. God, sh it, it hits different. God shows up completely differently in corporate settings. In fact, he shows off in the corporate setting in the Old Testament. The tongues of fire was at church. When you look at the Old Testament and the New Testament, it's a, it's a radically different experience. There's a lot of pressure on an individual to, right now to know everything because, because the self has become the locus of authority, right? Like the self is, it, it's all up to me. That's why everything's all about self-help, self-authentization, self-authoring, self, you're hearing me. You have to be your best you because if you're not your best you, you won't know it's true. That is, that's the crisis of authority. In addition to that is the Yelp review mentality where I go to church to be the best me. Let's say we all go to Applebee's after today and we just destroy them, okay? Half ops, we're going crazy. <laughs> and, the, and the apps come out cold and, and, and then the, you know, the, the waitress is, is, is mean to us or whatever. And so then we all go on our Yelp review and we light them up. Do you know what I mean? And we give them zero stars out of five stars, right? And that's how we think. We th everywhere we go except for church, we think that way. And so that's, why, that's where people are at. So if we don't teach them that you're a priest when you come to church, they bring Yelp review in. And, and, right? And so then the entire experience is evaluated based on what was good for them. In addition to the crisis of authority, in addition to spiritualism, and th does this make me better? Pizza isn't necessarily a sin, but if you want to be in ministry and perform miracles, you can't eat carbs like that. But want to know what goes really good with pizza? A 2013 Beaujolais? Wine? Yes, it's wine. Have you ever even had a Beaujolais? It's unbeatable. I don't drink wine, I'm a Christian. I only overeat and I'm a glutton. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> idea of empathy that well, when people when people in the church talk about they're going show compassion immediately that's what they're trying to say but empathy is actually an incredibly biased thing because what you're asking somebody to do is go into somebody's skin and be them in a moment right Jesus never did that mm -hmm. okay um, Jesus asked us to show compassion Right to understand somebody's situation mm -hmm. um, from and, and and just see the pain that they're going through and let, allow your heart allow that to to, to weigh in. Uh, for, I'll give you an example. If my wife comes home and she's been on the subway and somebody you know slaps her bum, okay, and she comes to me and she goes, Nathan, I was assaulted sexually on the subway. My job as a husband in that moment is to show empathy. Is to go. Mm -hmm. You're my wife, and I'm going to believe you no matter what. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Like that. But the job of a judge is mm -hmm. not to show empathy. Mm -hmm. The job of a judge is to dispassionately move through all of the data, right. see if there's a camera on that website, and see right. if it happened. Right. And I would, as a husband, I have to show empathy in that situation. That's the right thing to do. I should be biased towards my wife. Mm -hmm. That is me being a good husband. 
but a judge should not show empathy. A pastor should not show empathy. Mm. People in authority should not show empathy. That's People good. in authority should dispassionately move. That's justice in the Old Testament, wow. if that makes sense. Wow. And so the way that like truth matters, and if you know, uh, if empathy is the way that we're finding truth, mm-hmm. which it's that's an epistemological. Uh, so that's a standpoint of epistemology, right? Like just identify with people and then, you know, let that, tr- no, that is messed up. We don't want a society where judges are just show empathy with a, with a, you know what I mean? Because right. people lie, right? Right. Like we need judges who, and uh, people are wrong. Their to- beliefs are wrong. Totally. They literally, yeah. what they believe isn't even true. Exactly. So even in the church though, in, in my example of empathy, even in the church, we, like we're adopting some speech we're adopting some 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 postures like even in the social justice movement right like we begin to like try to baptize the concept of empathy or try to baptize the concept of social justice when we don't realize those things are not going to be baptized mm. they are mm. they have ideological roots that will never ever work in the church mm-hmm. right like in the way that i explained it no don't tell judges to choose empathy tell judges to choose justice mm-hmm. And what is justice? He who answers a matter before he fully hears it, right, is a fool, right? So it's there's got to be. Um, we have to, to, to kind of work through those things. Uh, but but yes, that th- that is just uh, several examples of the epistemological battle that's happening right now and how it's coming at the church and culture. Mm-hmm.